Hi, welcome to the demo video for Sentinel Retail software, uh, which can be used for uh, builders merchant or flooring merchant, or if you're selling wardrobes or furniture or anything. Uh, uh, I've, uh, I'll give you a brief demo that explains how the software works. So when you load the software, it shows you a login page. On this login page, you can either uh, set a password for every staff member or manager, or you can use an RFID reader and you can log in using a touch card like you are using the debit card nowadays. So um, if you got a password, you can just type in the password, press login. It will bring you to the main screen. On the main screen, you can sell your products by either making the buttons on the screen so you can make the buttons, for example, two door wardrobes. And once you click the two door wardrobe, it will show you all your collection. You can make the button a small, large. It's up to you. Like uh, if I go to the floors, I've made a small button. So it depends on how many products you got. You can make a smaller buttons, bigger buttons. You can even put the pictures on the button. Once you click on the product, it will go to the card and uh, you can sell the product. Uh, once you're happy with the order, for example, if customer is buying uh, one wardrobe for 765 you can press pay on the pay screen if they're paying by cash you can press cash if they're paying by credit card you can rec record the transaction as a uh, credit card and it will print a receipt and an invoice for the customer as well so let's say the customer is paying cash and they have given you uh, 790 pound so you can do 790 paid amount cash and then it tells you the change amount what's the change and once you're done it will print the receipt and open the cash door for you uh, to put the product inside the second option you can sell a product if your product got a barcode like a small things like tools uh, or a small things that got a barcode uh, you can first add the product to add the product that has got the barcode all you need to do is scan the barcode so if i scan the barcode now it will ask you, do you want to add this product? So if I press yes, uh, let's say this product name is uh, a screw. I don't know what's the size of a screw. I'm just making it up. So supplier, if you have any supplier, you can give the supplier name. Department is a screws and then cost price you can tell is 2.99. So box of a screw. and then retail price cost price is optional if you don't want to give the cost price you can leave it blank retail price is your selling price so let's say your selling price is 3.99 how many boxes you got in stock 15 boxes warning stock so warning stock let's say if you give warning stock 3 so when you sold 12 and when it's only 3 left the software will start reminding you that this product is low in stock so you can order more VAT if it's a VAT product you give 20% if it's a non VAT product you give 0% and then press save so now this product is added if I scan this product again It will go to the card automatically if the customer is buying same product more than one let's say they're buying five you can do five okay and then finish and it will uh, print the receipt and open the cash draw so if i go and press pay this time customer is paying by credit card so i press the credit card and it's recorded as a credit card sale so if i go back in manager and go to pause items and go to stock and then if I want to see how many screws I've got, you can see that the stock is checked. Uh, 10 stock you added um, is 10 in the stock. And then you can see the sold stock as well. And it automatically, as soon as I sold at the moment, because I did not activate it, the stock. So that's why it's not reducing the quantity, but it will reduce the quantity automatically. And here you can see all the stock input and you can see all the details. On the reports, you can go see how much what's your sale figure so you can see in a graph then if you want to see in the amount you can see cash sale is 765 credit card sale is 19.95 total VAT you collected what's the net sale uh, and then a total cash in draw uh, you can see sales analysis as well so if you want to see department wise sale you can see screws you have sold five total worth 1995 wardrobe you sold one total worth 765 if you want to see by product you can see the exact product uh, screws you sold five and then Hancock two door wardrobe you sold one you can see by date wise as well so and you can export this information to Excel sheet or if you want you can email it to your accountant 
as well you can see hourly sales as well so you can see by hour how much you sold so you know which hours you are selling more so these are the two way of selling the product so one you can make the buttons uh, making button is very easy so let's say if I want to add something in floors at the moment in the floor there's just one um, thing in the floor uh, in flooring uh, at the moment you go to manager you go to pause items and then you go to products and the products you choose a category floors now you want to add a new product in the floor you give the product name for example you are adding a floor called Parador Eco Balance Block and the selling price is 51.99 per meter my software you can change this kg into meter as well so uh, for this demonstration I'm not going to change the kg to meter because it, I have to reload the software so I'll give you the idea that if you give the price in kg just imagine this kg is meter and stock how much you got in stock 100 meters VAT 20 and then press save so now this product is added if I go back and see in the floors there are two products if you want to change the button color because now everything is white if you want to change the button colors you can change it to you can go to the pause items again you can go to the products floors settings and here you can change any button color for example you want the button color to be this purple or you can even put the pictures as well and press save it's done so if I go back again to floors these are small buttons so it depends how many products you got you can make the small buttons or big button if you want to increase the site you go again on pause products floor settings and this time width I'll increase it to 390 height I'll increase it to 110 and then update all save so if I go back and click on the floors again it will show big button so it ups uh, it depends how many products you got and how many buttons you're making you can increase or decrease the uh, button sizes so if I click on this Parador echo balance block it will ask me how many meters so if I say let's say 3 meter and it will charge the price for 3 meter if I say 1 meter it will charge the price for 1 meter so if I say 2 meter it will charge the price for 2 meter so we can quickly change this weight to meters that's not a big thing when you are installing the software you need to tell the software what metrics you want and you can tell if it is a meter is it a kg is it uh, so how you sell the product and then you can put it in the cart so these are the two way of selling the product the third way if you got so many products that you think is going to be very difficult uh, to make the buttons or if the product don't have the barcode uh, you can click on this search this search will show you all the products in the uh, software so if you want to add another button uh, products you can let's say you adding a product call <clears throat> in the two door wardrobe you want to add a new product called new two door wardrobe and the supplier you're saying is a supplier department is wardrobe cost price you leave it blank retail price I'm giving 499 and then VAT is 20%, uh, stock is 10, warning stock is 2, and press save. So now this new product is added. Now if you want to sell it, instead of finding the button, you want to sell it by searching, you can go to the search. You can write here NEW and it will filter the product automatically. You double click on the product and it goes to the card. So there are many different ways, more than uh, two, three ways of doing um, selling a product. So it depends uh, what is your requirement. If you got too many products and you think it's going to be very difficult to find the products in a button, you can make a list and you can search it. If your product got barcode, you can uh, add the product with the barcode and then later you can just sell the product by scanning the barcode like I'm selling it now. Um, if you scan something by mistake and you want to delete it, you can use this cross button to delete it. Uh, or if you want to delete the whole uh, order you can press refresh uh, the customer is asking same thing twice for example the screws uh, in the screws if customer is wanting same thing twice you can use a quantity to increase or decrease uh, the quantity and it will charge the price according to the quantity so if this box of a screw is 399 customers wanting two you can do quantity two and it will charge the price 
uh, again if customer is still thinking and you want to hold the order you can hold the order as well and meanwhile serve the other customer as well uh, if you want to change the price for one customer uh, you can quickly change the price as well so changing a price if the product got barcode is very easy all you need to do uh, is price change scan the product you want to change price it will show the current price you clear the price and you write the new price let's say 2.78 and ok and it's changed now so if I scan the product again it will charge the new price uh, if you want to change the price for a button temporary you can change the price for example this wardrobe is 899 so if I click it's 899 but for some reason you, you want to sell it for 799 you can do 799 and click it's gone into the card so and it goes into the card as 7.99 so you can tap in the price and then click on the product and it will uh, change the price temporarily but if you click again it will charge the price saved on the background if you want to change the price permanently you need to go to manager pause items products two door click on the product you want to change price edit product give the new price 5.99 and press save and it will change the price permanently from here as well uh, again uh, you can make an offer as well so let's say you selling an screw uh, this screw is 278 uh, so and if somebody is buying three so if I scan this screw is 278 each and somebody is buying three at the moment the price is 834 but you are running a promotion that buy three for seven pound uh, so you're giving basically one pound 34 pence discount so if you want to make this offer it's very easy you go to manager pause options and then go to op offers press add given as offer and name screw offers discount 1.58 let's say on what quantity 3 if there is any expiry you can give the expiry for the discount and then you simply scan the product and press save so now if I go back and scan the screw so if I scan it once it will give price 278 if I scan again it's 556 as soon as I scan it third time it will automatically give discount uh, pound 58 and change the price to 6.78 so it's very easy to use um, if you want to give a discount from here you can give discount in percentage or you can give discount in amount as well uh, it's got all the features uh, if you want to print large a4 reports if you want to print large invoice you can print large invoice as well uh, you can record the transaction if some uh, if you are if you got trade supply buyers and your uh, customers they usually take on uh, credit you can record the credit transactions as well so for example if somebody rings you as soon as they rings you you can see their telephone number and their address uh, automatically so you don't have to ask before you answer the phone you will know their name and their number and the company name uh, so if you're taking a phone order it's very easy you can take a phone order without asking for telephone number and address detain every time they call it the computer will uh, the e-post software will remember the details and as soon as it detects a telephone ring it will first check the number and see if there is any customer corresponding to the telephone number and if there is a customer it will pull the record for you uh, to add a new customer you press customer uh, add customer give a customer telephone number for example my telephone number give a customer name postcode you can search the address by postcode as well or you can manually write the postcode email address is any credit limit so for example maybe you're giving them thousand pound credit limit and press save so now this customer is created uh, now if you want to take an order for this customer you double click on this customer uh, you take the order for example to order uh, 899 and then when you're finishing the order pay do it as not paid if they are taking it on credit now what will happen this 899 will record it as a credit amount to customer so if I go back to customer and see the balance is showing 899 balance on the right hand side if later this customer comes and he want to pay some amount out of 899 you can go 
pay amount it shows that the 899 is balanced and they're paying by credit card let's say 500 pound and 399 is still balanced you press save and then this customer is now balances 399 if you want to see the customer account history you can go customer you can click on customer and then you can click on customer account history and it shows you all the payments they have made and all the invoices on the left so this is the invoice on the left 899 and this is these are the payment they have made so total payment they have made 500 pound and total invoices worth 899 um, it's very easy to use software uh, it's got all the features uh, for trade customer you can uh, give them multiple price so for example if you're giving them discount you can give discount and you can set a different price level for every customer as well uh, at the moment it's not integrated with Xerox or QuickBooks uh, but if you want integration it takes around one week time or two week time we can integrate but we will charge extra for integrating it with Xerox uh, but even if you don't uh, integrate with Xerox it will it should work fine because you can print your invoices using this software if you're using an A4 printer to print invoice we can design an A4 receipt as well uh, A4 invoice or if you want to use the receipt printer like the Tesco and Asja or uh, Wix use you can use the small receipt uh, as well order list shows all the order list by date so you can see all the you can edit any order you can cancel any order you can issue refund to any order again in the manager in the reports you can see all the sales analysis you can see sales by payment method you can uh, see sales by user as well um, you can design your own report so you can open any report you can design it you can design the VAT report so uh, there's a designer included in the software we designed the reports in the users you can create more user account you can give them access for example if you're a staff member you don't want your staff member to open the cash drawer without any order you can restrict them or if you don't want your staff member to see the sales figure you can restrict them and they can only take the order they cannot see the sales data or they can't change any prices or anything while they're taking the order uh, in the settings you got all the settings it support multiple screens so if you want to install a two screen EPO system where on one screen you're taking order and on the back of the EPO system you want to show customer prices you can activate the second screen and it will show prices while you're taking the order and when there is no customer you can run your pictures and your promotions on the back screen uh, for the advertisement purpose all our EPO software, we are partner with Payment Sense, so it's integrated with the card machine. So when you're finishing a credit card machine order, and if you're using a Payment Sense as your uh, card processor, uh, you can uh, the amount, total amount, will go automatically to the card machine. So you don't have to tap in the order uh, amount on the card terminal. Uh, Payment Sense is offering the promotion at the moment. They are running the promotion that if you switch to Payment Sense, they will not charge you anything monthly and they will beat any transaction rate uh, so if you're using Barclays or WorldPay you just send them your last bill uh, they will beat the prices the transaction rate and on top they will not charge you anything monthly also if your existing uh, card um, processor is imposing any penalty on you for example maybe they're saying that if you terminate the contract early and we, we're going to charge you this penalty payment sense will buy the contract that means payment sense will pay any penalty up to four thousand pound including red uh, i hope you like this software if you have any questions uh, please uh, don't hesitate to ask me uh, we developed this software in uk uh, and our in-house developer they created this software it's fully tested it's running more than uh, 1980 1900 shops so far uh, including retail shop busy environment like uh, off license grocery shop uh, beauty saloon builders merchant um, we can customize the software but for customization obviously we're gonna charge you so if the feature is already there we can make the buttons whatever you want free of course but if you want to add any feature uh, let's say you want to integrate it with quickbooks or you want to integrate it with xerox then obviously we will charge you uh, for the integration and you can uh, call us to discuss the prices um, uh, that's pretty much everything i hope you like the software and uh, I hope to hear you from uh, hear from you soon. Thank you.